friend and mentor, um, his name is Grant Willard, NC State alum, uh, engineering school, had a uh, company called IQ, and I was employee number seven. And I remember talking to him and kind of negotiating back and forth of what compensation would be, because I always had ability to communicate, I could sell. Um, and so I said, all right, I can use these skills that don't require a particular degree set, but require a skill set. And so I had to figure out how to do that and how to make my way in the world. But anyway, I remember talking to Grant and we got down to, to this one offer and a couple of others. And he gave me the base salary, right? The base salary was $43,000 a year for a salesman. And I was like, man, that's great. But I got another offer that's $53,000 a year base salary and they wanted you to sell millions of dollars of things, right? So I was like, okay. So I said, Grant, love to work for you. Love what you're doing. Love the vision you have for the company, all that. What are we gonna do about this difference between the 53,000 base at the other company and the 43,000 that you're offering? And he looked at me, he smiled, but was quiet. So now imagine that for about two minutes. <laughs> I, I gave y'all a test for like 12 seconds. Right? Even in a group of friends like we are and coworkers and colleagues and when we all want NC State to thrive, right? After about 12 seconds, it's a little uncomfortable, right? So one minute. And then he says, we're not gonna do anything about it. I was like, I don't understand. I'm amazing. You said I was amazing. You wanted me to come to work so we could do amazing things. Why aren't you gonna help me with this gap? He said very clearly, he said, I need to communicate something to you. We're a small company, but we always pay our bills, so we're conservative. But if you are who you have sold me, you have an unlimited potential, and I won't cap you. And more important, I'll teach you how to run a business. If the other offers that you are entertaining are going to also teach you how to run a business, you should go do that. But I'll take time with you and teach you. That one decision to take, mentorship over money, has made me millions of dollars. Has made other people that I've worked with millions of dollars because of that one decision. So why do I bring that up? Because Grant doesn't look like me. Grant looks more like most of you. Western North Carolina, country boy growing up, NC State grad. If you see this two and two together, and I'll show a picture of them in a minute. And this was, 1996 was however many years ago. But what he did was he opened up his mind to share with me and I took it. And so what does that mean in terms of diversity and communication? What that means is when you have something powerful to give, he had mentorship to give. I was telling Mark a minute ago, you guys have a phenomenal product at NC State to give. When you have a phenomenal product, it makes messaging around that product not easier but more powerful because you can believe in that message. There's a difference between believers and non-believers in marketing, and you can tell in the press release, you can tell in the video. You can tell when you have placed people in a picture just for optics, or you place them in a picture because they belong together, they enjoy working together, and it doesn't matter if they're black, white, it doesn't matter if they're gay or straight, it doesn't matter men or women, because they're actually working together. You've created an authentic message that allows you to communicate what NC State is.